Okay, uh, we're round uh, six, Germany, with our uh, two number one world player face-off. All right, so uh, uh, just to give you a little idea of what US did, so US did uh, just took Finland and uh, building a bunch of stuff in the build some bit of a some defensive units here in the sea which is fine I'm happy for them to spend units over there and then also uh, standard shuck troops are over here Russia just did took back uh, Archangel and West Russia lightly all right, overall strategic position, although tactically pretty much the game couldn't have gone any worse than it possibly could have. Strategically, we're actually not in a bad boat. I feel like I'm slowly turning the game around a little bit. Generally, I'll encourage players to do that as well. Don't look necessarily in the individual battles. Think about the overall strategy. The main overall strategy being just to outproduce uh, ground units um, uh, so you want more units getting produced that are actually useful and on the field uh, than the other team. And we're doing pretty good at that, so we've got 13, uh, we're going to have 14 units for the Germany coming in here. you notice that I've abandoned Karelia. I'll take Caucasus over Karelia any day. And holding Caucasus and just ejecting from Karelia is a valid strategy and it's going to work pretty well in this perspective. You lose this one, you, you lose Belarusia, but I can trade back from Caucasus, I can trade back West Russia, I can trade Kazakh every turn, which makes up for Belarusia, they're both two points, and I can control all of the territories around Germany too, take them back. I've got a strong stack in France, uh, so I've got two strong enough stacks to hold everything. Main one being in Germany, another in uh, France. So we're doing okay there. So I'm actually not too uh, pessimistic about where things are going. Also here I've got a really strong attack into India next turn from Germany, uh, from uh, from Japan, because I've got uh, I've got uh, five units there, four units that can move over from there. I've got uh, six units that can move from here, actually maybe maybe even another one here in range. Um, and then another for next turn. So we can do a really strong attack next round into there and if you get the synergy of a Caucasus plus India held by the Axis, that's a, a really powerful position. In fact I'm I'm not sure I've ever lost a game where I've been holding Caucasus in India. Several hundred games, I've, I just I can't recall anywhere if I've got those two uh, territories as Axis. I just can't really recall ever using them because um, this is now pretty strong, Caucasus. France is pretty strong. I'm causing him to spend resources over here. Possibly might even still just go in and try and go for something. But uh, yeah, I'm not feeling too badly about it now. And you'll see I've got some pretty good attacks coming up here, so let's do this one. So I'm buying 13 infantry and uh, one artillery, and, we, and, you, and you can maintain the IPCs usually if you've got Caucasus you can maintain a pretty good IPC rate for, for Germany. For example, I can take this for free. Send one guy in here, hopefully take that. Although tactically speaking, I'm losing all these, <laughs> these sort of battles in the game. I don't think I'm, I think I'm a little too weak to knock this guy out. Once you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I, it'd be a six V six, but I can't really afford to lose the, um, can't really afford to lose those units, so. so I'll just go for a few cheap cheap wins here if I can possibly get them. Oh, 
All right. I think that that is it. I've done the calcs. Um, Caucasus is rock solid, especially with those four fighters there. Um, he's got like a 10% or something on Caucasus. France, uh, even with a 1 2 hit from UK and uh, US, provided, you know, if he goes in with UK, US, I've got to peel two fighters away from Caucasus, but then that's pretty solid. It's 20, he's only got a 20 or 30%, but more than that, it's like a major IPC loss for them to c come in here, so. I think we're pretty good in France. I'll put one extra guy in there just to make to make sure. Otherwise, um, I'm actually not minding how the map's looking now. We'll get a fair bit of progress in here as well. So, uh, all right. Have I missed anything? I think that's about about it. Did I do that right? Yes. All right. Now, in keeping with this game, these are all probably going to go tactically horribly, but again, we're just going to try and be strategically minded and not worry so much about the individual battles. <coughs> How about that? Look at that. Huh. Actually worked. I don't want to put too many troops into this Baltic States battle because whatever I put in there is just going to get smashed next turn, so I'm just going to go with the minimum. Look at that. Actually a tactical battle that worked okay this turn. I think that looking back on it, I've pretty much lost pretty much every bomber that I've thrown into a strategic raid. This was disastrous. I think four fighters gone from AA, <laughs> from two AA guns. Battleship lost here, all sorts of things lost over the place tactically, but provided the game is strategically sensible, we're all good. <clears throat> so I need to put one extra guy over to here. Question is where I put the bomber. Put one guy there just in case. I'm going to put one, four, five. Let's put two here just to be sure. And I could do a little bit of a can open here, can opener here, possibly. I'm wondering whether there's Japanese I could knock this guy out, and then the Germans, Germans actually take India, right? It's potential, but he's he's going to come in here. He'll put an extra blocker in there. So probably not much point in that. All right, so I think we're okay. So there we go, Selden signing off. Well, you probably want to see the builds. <clears throat> Good thing too about all these fighters sitting now in the Caucasus is, is this becomes uh, Medshuk becomes pretty um, uh, pretty unviable for the Allies. The solution to the Medshuk is just planes, lots of planes, right? Like Matrix guns, lots of guns. We want planes, lots of planes. Just stops the Medshuk in its tracks. Might do that to scare him. 
So we've got a bunch there. Let's put them over here. Alright, so we're still getting 41 as Germany despite the KGF. And we've got a solid Caucasus. Got to even look at the possibility of just doing a strafe or something on Moscow potentially. But the good thing about the strong stack here is that he's forced to put a whole bunch of defensive units, uh, fighters here, which aren't very good in these in any threat against Germany, which is nice. So, okay, so I'm actually turning it around. I actually, don't mind the board position right now, especially if I can take India. Like I say, there's a huge synergy. You can start shuffling troops between them and. Get a constant stream of troops just coming up here. We can block off this stream of US troops coming through, provided I can take it next time around. We're looking pretty good, I think, actually. Um, I'm just going to take, yeah, take India next turn, yeah, and they can just, they just smash anything that comes into here and purge together and. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, it's keen to hear any thoughts in the comments. Over to you, Armand.